I'm actually craving hot dogs probably yeah. for the first hot time. Hot dog and mac ever. and cheese is, uh, is oh, the shit. That sounds amazing. I mean, the only way I cook my hot dogs, well, once again, welcome to the Bad Inputs podcast where we talk about everything and anything. Yeah. I, I don't cook hot dogs in boiling water anymore. I put a little water on it in the on the saucepan and then just steam that motherfucker. No oh, shit. That's and, a good yeah, to do it that. comes out a little clean. Yeah, I it. used to cut it down the middle mm-hmm. and then just like cook it on the pan. Yeah. Flip it back and forth. Yeah. I find it funny that the two people that are not Jews have eaten more Jewish hot dogs than I have probably in my entire life. <laughs> I have eaten a lot of Hebrew nationals with my mom plays. Yeah, out there. those are some good shit. That's mm-hmm. some good stuff. Jews, really Jews know how to make some hot dogs. I'll tell I really you. I didn't understand the difference. It was like I just like hot dogs. It's like that. Why do we find this? Yeah. I just like that hot cool. dog, diggity damn. Also, there there must be no pork in it. There has to be no no pork because it's kosher. Yeah, yeah. Be, I mean now I understand it, yeah. but like as a kid, it's just like why does that say Hebrew National? It's mm-hmm. like a it's like a national. Isn't it like a nation? Is he making nation of Hebrew? Is, is he is brewing this? coffee? Do they no, make their own Lord. special hot dog. Well, so what do you put on it? What do I put on my hot dog? Yeah, yeah. mustard, ketchup, granola, uh, barbecue sauce, relish. Oh, Let no. me tell you a little story about Eloy. Okay. Wow, okay. Don't forget, you <laughs> do have man. like five podcasts with your thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we tread carefully. Young As man. a kid, you know, <laughs> I was I wasn't a regular kid. I throw relish <laughs> on that shit. I put Gross. onion and shit. You're a fiend. And you know, and then like, uh, fuck mustard, fuck ketchup. Must- Fuck ketchup. Fuck yeah. mustard. Oh, was, How was, dare you? Fuck was mustard. Me. What is and that? Was mustard's gross. As oh. I started uh, chugging along in the choo choo train of life, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Fucking mustard is delicious. <laughs> I only want mustard on my hot dogs now. And then, and then there's some some crazy thing called barbecue sauce that just came out of existence. And I put barbecue well, sauce now, and like mustard. <laughs> you just did <laughs> like air guitar right up your yeah. face. <laughs> And then I got to this phase where it's like, I don't give a fuck what's on my hot dog. <laughs> I'll put barbecue sauce, I'll put chili, I'll put relish, I'll put ketchup and mustard i'll put all that shit on it mm-hmm. now it's just you know nice ketchup mustard and uh, that's that's about it you know jalapenos so jalapenos you do that weird thing jalapenos. people do where they put like the two strands of like ketchup and mustard beside each other yeah i like i try to do that now because it looks kind of cool and then i'll just dump <laughs> yeah, anything so on it cigarettes. so you can't even really, like see it and, uh, what so the mustard will kill you yeah <laughs> Cigarettes yeah. don't taste Fair good. Warning. Mustard tastes like cigarettes. Must- mustard is, is delicious. Dijon mustard. It's low calorie. Mustard's gross. And it's so Dijon mustard. What is it? <laughs> what is mustard Dijon made of? Dijon mustard. What is it made of? Yellow goodness. What is it? Yellow tartness. What is it? Yellow Cause, tartness. Because I know ketchup is just sugar water, basically. Sugar water tomatoes? Yeah, it's literally, it's tomato paste and like sugar. That's basically what it is. What is mustard? Mustard is the sun's delight. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Must- okay, I'm gonna I, I will say- what mustard is. I like, will say this. I've been on a barbecue sauce binge since I was 13, 14. Sauce. Not even, maybe 10. Yes. What's your and, favorite barbecue sauce? Uh, that's the one. The, the normal one that everyone eats now. Sweet baby? Yeah, yeah sweet, sweet baby rays. rays. Sweet baby rays. Must but, like, I, lately, I don't know, the last couple weeks, I've been trying to eat my food with barbecue sauce. I went back, I'm a ketchup believer all over again. Yeah. Barbecue just, sauce, I think I've... You need to take a little break from the BBQ. BBQ is very, it's really sugary if you have too much of it. Like, mm-hmm. you just feel like you're just eating sugar at some mm-hmm. point, at least for me. But I like I like some of the variations of barbecue sauce where it's kind of like spicy. Or well, like, like honey barbecue or like the tangy, like, yeah, it's like steak it's sauce. Like, yeah, it's like tangy mm-hmm. and like really, yeah, I think it's more like the steak, steak sauce kind of Yeah, like A1. Sauce. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if A1 is barbecue sauce. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's like not steak, steak sauce. sauce. Yeah. 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 But there are barbecue sauces that are more on like the steak saucy side. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, A one. Well, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you I'm what. I'm not a big fan of A one. I feel like I saw a video. Oh, I'm anything just but steak. A1. I'll put. I'll eat anything with A on it that's not steak. Cause I'm not a fan of steak. Oh yeah, I've I've yeah. only had it on steak, like steak and I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I've only I've had A one on burgers. Uh, oh yes, that's Ooh. good. Now well, that I'd be interested to try. The contrast. I think I put A one in my omelet. What now? L. Yeah. Why? I'm pretty sure I've done Like, with, it. on eggs? Why would you yeah, tarnish? Yeah, in my omelet. <laughs> Why would I was you probably tarnish? Like, I was probably going to that phase where I was, re- I was really experimental as a kid. So, yeah. as a kid... Uh, uh, with hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I walked right into that wall. Yeah, you did. Um, you, you really did. There was a lot of weird <laughs> stuff in my fridge, so... I put like cucumbers, no, bananas. No. <laughs> I did not like bananas. bananas Were you a fan of Penn Island? Island. Pen- <laughs> I don't even know what that is. 
You never heard that joke? I've heard of this, but I'm ignoring it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I put like ham. I chopped up some ham, and then I put like you know onions, green mm-hmm. onions, and then like a one steak sauce and yeah. a lot of cheese. Delicious. Oh. So uh, a couple days ago, in my uh, broken leisure, I was like, let me see what I can make. And you know the, the homemade taco, not taco, salad kits, like a little sriracha, blue cheese, whatever. Mm-hmm. You, they come with dressing and like uh, tortilla chips, no uh, tortillas. chia seeds, whatever. It's all in the packaging, like three bucks. It's really easy to make, really healthy. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, what if? So I got some tortillas, uh, some turkey meat from uh, Whole Foods, mm-hmm. made the salad, mm-hmm. grilled up the little tortilla tortillas. Mm. Then put the turkey meat in between that ch- sriracha salad, Ooh. all on top of that taco. I was like, this Damn. is fucking amazing. That sounds amazing. That sounds like, really holy good. Shit. That would be one of the few times I would legitimately enjoy a salad. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not doing like salad. I've been into more like I, you guys know me. I don't fucking I don't fuck with salads normally. But lately, if it's got so actually barbecue sauce on it, I will like the, like have you ever had like California Pizza Kitchens like. Like barbecue chicken chop salad or anything. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, or rattler is the same thing. It's or stone fire is the same thing or whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is sex in the mouth. I love salad. Yeah. <laughs> Salad's like my number two favorite food. Really? Yeah, I'll just have balsamic vinaigrette on that shit. Oh, I'm that's good. good. Balsamic salt bomb. and vin- not salt and vinegar. What salt and of? vinegar. Yeah, that's all, uh, all it's like salt on salt. Olive oil and vinegar. That's what I'm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll have that shit. A little bit, a bit of black pepper. Oh, black some pepper. Salt. Maybe some fun. onions. What is the worst restaurant you've ever eaten at? Ooh, I'm rattlers. talking like I'm talking in terms of rattlers in terms of service, really? not food, not food like service. Maybe a little bit of food, but like service. you're never going back. Oh, uh, well, that's a tough one. Right, come, come back to me because I, I think know. I think I have a story, but I don't. I don't but it doesn't really count because it was like a chain restaurant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I had this well, counts. I got the cheesecake got- factory. Yeah, it took 45 minutes for them to, to get our food. And it was like, it was just fucking insane. Like, yeah. it was just bad. Which one was it? Uh, I want to say it was the one near the gallery. I think I went there with, like, Lindsay. Wait, it was a long fucking time ago. Yeah, and we went like there. A long time. It was, it was forever. Oh, you know what? Maybe, well, it might have been the gallery. Cause it was more open. Mm-hmm. I don't remember which fucking one it was. But, um, yeah, I just remember going and uh, not being pleased with how long it took to get our fucking food. But that's like, I don't know. I, I, I guess the one I'd have, oh, you know what? I have one. The one, I've told you guys a story. When I went to uh, Mimi's Cafe, which I still haven't gone back from this day because of this. We went, it was me, my dad, and my sister, and uh, we got, we just had normal breakfast. And um, basically my sister's plate came sort of dirty and there were like bugs on it. And, uh, oh, and hell my, no. And my, and my dad's, my dad's coffee cup had lipstick stains all over it. Oh, hell oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hell no. Said, yeah. Maybe what is you doing? <laughs> what is you doing? What the heck? Is it's that, gross. That's fucking gross. Like, they yeah. you know, like they don't care at all. Yeah, that's like, what I'm Someone's saying. had to have seen it. Yeah. That, that's why I was like, we're never coming. And I, I've heard Mimi's is good since, but like, yeah. I, I've not gone back just because I was like, this is like, this is just in fucking excusable. How do you admit? Mm-hmm. Like it was bright. It was, it was like. Like a white coffee cup with red lipstick. Like you could not miss it. You just literally have to not be looking and just. Maybe the waitress was trying to test the temperature. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like. Oh, it's good. I feel like there's. I think the locals don't like this. I feel, I feel like, like there's certain chains, <laughs> certain chains of restaurants where there's like, they've had their service. To you. They've done it for like many, many years. Mm-hmm. Like me, like Marie Callender's, like that mm-hmm. type of shit. Yeah, yeah. I have just mental image of like a bunch of old people working there. Just like <laughs> all just like slow and like you know decrepit and trying to put all this food together. Yeah. So so you equate like the people who frequent there with also the because like a lot of Murray County is such a, like an old people place. Yeah. It just is. So like yeah. you so you like equate it with like who's Mimi's cooking Cafe as well and like Wendy's too and like you know just freaking like I don't know just old just like it reminds me of like, like the I-Hop. old roller coaster. And Six Flags, the call of yeah. Oh, the Colossus. Colossus, yeah. Or the yeah. Knott's Berry Farm one, the yeah, Tornado one that old, still old hasn't fallen down yet. Just there, just fucking land, just, just there, <laughs> just, what? just there, you know. What would you let's say you're at the God? We're just it's impossible. I was like, we're not gonna have anything to talk about, and we've already lost like ten minutes. Off, no <laughs> what is one thing that would stop you? For going onto a roller coaster. Oh, he doesn't even like them anyway. Like I know. Yeah. That's where one day that was we're gonna film it. Go to Six Flags Magic Mountain. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Yes, we're, we are. We'll put you on X. We're gonna help you conquer that fear. We're going to Lion. 
I'd go skydiving before I go on a roller coaster. Really? Okay, wait, wait. Now that wait, doesn't make no, any fucking sense to no. me. Hold on, why? Why? Really? You'd feel more secure I'm just never, trusting a parachute than being suspended in a giant metal yeah, seatbelt like thing. Shit. I don't want to ever go skydiving but, in my uh, life. I'm, 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 I'm on his side. I I can't. Once. I want to go once at least. That's on the bucket list. Really? Mm. Oh fuck, man. I just feel like I feel like you're just risking death. I just feel like you go, if you go to a, you're going to skydiving, you're like. Part of me sort of wants to die, and I'm okay with this. Like, I, I don't think I don't think that is you, but for me, it's the way I feel. I think it'd be so much fun just being in the air like that, just falling, and then you're not feel, you don't feel like you're falling. The only thing that I hate, especially with roller coasters, is that feeling in your stomach. Yeah, oh, when your stomach that drops. Shit. The drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like it goes. It's not even. It's when you drop, but your stomach goes up. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I hate that feeling so much. I yeah, guess, like, that's all bad. Right? I kind of learned to like it. I only hate it when I'm going like on the swinging ships, like those rides. Oh, I hate because oh, it's like back and forth. Yeah. I hate those rides. I kind of like anything. anticipate it, but like yeah. even like on car rides to Mexico, there's like little like divots of like hills and stuff. Mm-hmm. Just going down like a little one, maybe like a five foot drop. I don't know, maybe it's five foot, but maybe three foot drop. Yeah. Like I get queasy because I hate it. It feels so. Oh yeah. yeah. Wait, there there's some of those on the way to Vegas too. Yeah. yeah you get, I like, love those. Like, yeah, me too. It's like. <laughs> yeah, you, when I was a kid, it freaked me out. When I was like below ten, I was like, I don't enjoy this. But yeah, I've learned, I've learned to like it and have fun with it now. So, what about teacups, like Disneyland? What about those rides? Those are fun. Yeah, I'm because I get yeah. twist and turn in it. I would get ISIS to destroy those things. <laughs> I fucking hate those rides. You get really dizzy off them. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Spinning to get dizzy. Yeah. Literally, 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 yeah. If you if you do this, you get the same. You get the same bullshit you get from a teacup. Just no, all you do is not just go here and then you go here. You're, the, you're on the happiest place on earth. Well, I'm already getting dizzy. I'm only happy when I got that turkey leg. Don't fuck with me when I got oh, my turkey damn. leg. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm, Dis- Disneyland has some, speaking of food, has some of the best fucking food I've ever. Oh, okay, so a girl I went on. Chowder. Uh, well, I've never had that. They have chowder? chowder? Yeah. The what? Chowder Where? Chowder Where? California there. Adventure? I don't, it's in Disneyland. I've never it's been like to some CA weird adventure. restaurant. I don't remember. That's, that's what right. food is. I've never been to Disney CA as the young kids right. call it. I don't remember. <laughs> we're, we're, we're filming Bad Inputs Goes to Disneyland then. Because we got it. You have to like, dude. So California Adventure used to be sort of an end when it first came out. Uh, it's now the fucking tits. <laughs> it's the best. You get to drink and there's good food and there's roller coasters and like mm-hmm. awesome shows. Uh, California Adventure. California Adventure, in my opinion, kicks Disneyland's ass. Mm-hmm. In my just just for like being an adult. If you yeah. wanna if you wanna go and have fun and be a kid, Disneyland's awesome. But yeah. California Adventure is like adult Disneyland, and that's yeah. what I love. Um, yeah, I, I have a I have a story. I, we went uh, I went on a date with this girl uh, a long time ago. We went to Disneyland, and uh, there's like the new Cars place, and they have these like cone kind of things. So yeah. for uh, for all their food, and each each cone was like a different thing. So one had like. Uh, a gyro that had a bunch of like awesome like baked chicken and like fucking oh, or grilled oh. chicken and um Ooh. and like a little bit of uh, God I can't remember I, it was I want to say hummus but I don't think that's right I think it was something else hummus I love hummus though but then but then the thing I had that was the best was they had mini churro stick bites that you could dip in chocolate oh, oh. wow ah oh, sex on a goddamn bun bitch that's why I miss a pollo loco in our area the, the closest loco. one we have is probably like 10, 15 minutes away near the freeway, but damn, dude. God damn, they're Them churros bowls. and Del Taco's churros. Oh, I just churros shit. are the god tier food. They really are, man. Not healthy, but it's a it's a taste that you shouldn't have as a child. <laughs> it's gonna stick with you forever. Oh yeah, yeah. they're never good churros. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I saw Charles Barkley say on TNT because he was giving shit about like. He was saying in San Antonio the women are a little bigger because they like to eat. <laughs> yeah. He straight up said that. And like, and he was like, I have to apologize to all the women of San Antonio because I understand. And he was like, Well, what happened? And he was like, Ernie, I had a churro <laughs> for the <laughs> first time. And he, yeah, and he was like, Oh my, he's like, I don't blame you at all. I was in love. He never had a churro before. Never. Yeah, uh, he oh. was and he was in love. So yeah, churro, churro, churro is life. It's, it's a dessert that's way too small. I want like. Twisted one, fucking. <laughs> I want one the size of a donut. Oh. You have like a churro pretzel that's just like this fucking big of just like interwoven <laughs> like cinnamon. A, a figure eight of sweetness. You know what I've never <laughs> had enough of 
It's uh, the Taco Bell treat. It's kind of like twisted. Oh, cinnamon like, twists. Yeah, I've those never okay. had it. They were they're gone really for good. a little bit, but they're back. I, was, I always used to get those. They, they always feel a little empty to me. They feel like there should be more. They're nice, yeah. light, and like crispy. Yeah. And yeah. Light. I always want more. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want a churro. Like, it just yeah. makes me want a churro, which has like a good, yeah. like, satisfying bite to it. That's why they're like 75 cents to a dollar. Oh, shit. You gotta pay up if you want more until they get you. Oh, motherfuckers. Yeah, you can give an addict a little something, something. Yeah. That's how you get them hooked. <laughs> What is, wait, what is this? More. Let the Lord decide. Oh, I've seen, I've seen this before. Yeah, there's That's a an weird, old meme. A weird picture. Let me ask, what's the video? Damn it. And I mean, it says, someone's buying a soda. You got Pepsi, Diet Coke, Mountain Dew, and let the Lord decide. Do you think that was, <laughs> you think that was water? I feel, I knew this is maybe a random button maybe, for the yeah. first time on a vending machine. <laughs> they actually, the guy who actually packed the yeah. vending machine, like, just put the, like, the assortment of shit in there. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it's a surprise. It's a From joke. Jesus. There's a joke in here about water and wine, but I can't seem to turn it into anything. <laughs> but I'm uh, dope. Ah, oh, that's good. I, I love jokes when they they tell you that I don't have a joke. I love Reddit just for that. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's like, it's a shithole. I will admit, yeah. but not as big of a shithole that like 4chan is and Ebon's world and uh, Dig. But you get a lot more. It feels like. Yeah. You actually get it. Sometimes. Well, it's like it's like Twitter. It's just it's it can be a cesspool of garbage if you let it be that. But if just you like make sure, you, through, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, as long as you like follow the right things, yeah. you're fine. That's why. Okay, so like I I'm fairly new to Reddit, but uh, I was talking to Nate and he was telling me, like, yeah, so some of the things like just to go like on Reddit are just like the random or the popular stuff. Because mm-hmm. like you'll never know what you find there, and then mm-hmm. you'll just be like in this Reddit space for a long time. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like YouTube. YouTube. Sometimes you'll just get lost. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've yet to actually, like, get super lost in Reddit, but, like, there's some things that are just so intriguing that it will take me a while to be like, ah, whoa, well, ooh, ooh, what is this? Hey, let's, uh, oh, let's, let's hit random and see what we get, shall morbid we? Morbid questions. All right, I'm down for this. just a kind of way we are on r slash morbid questions. What is Stephen Hawking's total daily energy <laughs> expenditures? Oh, my God. Why would you add that? It's all right. There are many ways to find total daily expenditures, but often these methods are models account for some level of physical activity. Who is more or less paralyzed? Stephen Hawking. How many calories do we need to consume in order to maintain his physique? His, his brain alone consumes like two athletes. That's not morbid enough. Just, like, I, want, like, I want like super morbid. Yeah, we'll go to the top. You gotta, yeah, yeah, like, you gotta go to the top, dude. All time. Yeah, yeah. That's where you find the good shit. Why am I so attracted to Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are parents... Why are parents choose not to abort severely disabled babies thought of as brave and loving when they subject that child to a lifetime of... Let's just go to the Nazis. That's what happened. For the last few years, I've had the weirdest infatuation with Nazi men. There's nothing hard than a man in a Nazi uniform. I gross myself out sometimes with this fetish. There's just something really fucking hot about Nazi men. And don't flag us. Especially ones higher up in ranks. I lately had the grossest fantasy with Nazi fucking me in front of my made-up Jewish fiancé husband while he sits here and cries and is forced to watch. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I'm not racist. I have nothing against the Jews. I hate myself. I feel like an anti-Semite. I usually brushed over society and not take it seriously. I- I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that last sentence? And that's right, <laughs> folks. We're not going to answer this question. We're just using this as an example oh. to show you Ooh. how fucked up Reddit can be. Oh, man. And we're back to the full screen. <laughs> that, that, last sentence, that last sentence told more about her than that entire fucking paragraph did. Yeah, you <laughs> might straight up. You might be ra- how do you how do you figure out if you're racist or not? Uh there, I feel like there's a there's a fine line of, of being ignorant racist like that <laughs> and then being just straight up you hate people. Like mm-hmm. that's just ignorant like, oh oh people don't care about Jewish remarks, right? That's just what I, like fuck you, you're an idiot. But but I'm just saying she's an idiot. She's yeah. absolutely but there are people who are like like people like fucking Steve Bannon and I don't want to go too political but that motherfucker straight up is just like I hate people that aren't white because I'm white and that's yeah, why yeah, yeah, it's a superior color I mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean what do, what, what do you think I'm just like this <laughs> I'm just thinking like what if I was like oh I, I'm in love with my slave master's wife Oh damn! What if you? Well, what if she was like being super with, fucking like racist? What if you were? Well, that that's like sort of that, but that seems more like. So is she infatuated with the look of Nazis, or is she infatuated with the agenda of Nazis? That's the thing that I'm wondering. She likes. She wants. Like she. She likes. She. 
She said like in front of Jewish like A, she wants to be cucked, even though she has no one to be cucked in front of. Yeah. And B, maybe she just likes the It's like it just seems false like superiority. For, forbidden maybe. love of yeah, it's false super, I don't know. The it's taboo. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's so it's so wrong that yeah, it feels so, so wrong. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super fucked up. Oh, I get that. That's okay. That's that's still really fucking that's fucked up. Yeah, that woman should go see a therapist. What would you guys do if you like start dating someone you find out she's an accidental racist? Accidental. How 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 deep into the game? Because I just split that shit off pretty quick. Well, like two months. Ooh, that's enough for you. Like, like real. So like she, she, but so she's like a fu- she's like a, like a nine, but that one is a really big one. Yeah, she's yeah. like ha ha ha. That looks like the same time. The person I gave us our food probably makes iPhones. Ha ha ha. <laughs> 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 like stuff like that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure it would kill it immediately for me. I'm pretty sure it would kill it immediately. Like, I, dude, I've got like one of the like this is this is one of the things that like I, this is a pet peeve for me when I'm dating a chick. I dated a girl a while back and I took her to uh, but she, I think Michelli's. Michelli's is that place? It's like near Universal Studios. Yeah. And really oh, yeah. she <laughs> for she no matter what the waiter who was one of the nicest waiters I have ever to this day had, she would not say thank you. And that shit, whoa, that drove me nuts. That, dro- that, like, in my head, I was like, Yo, like, just say thank you once, please. Just, just be courteous. Did you do that words. thing where you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, like, some people, like, uh, mispronounce, a, mispronounce a word and you say the word over Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, no, no, yes, like, I, yes, I did that. Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> like, I, I 100% did that. I made sure, like, I looked and I was like, thank you very much. Because, like, and it was less, like, to, like, prove a point to her and more, like, I have to double the thank yous for you yeah, because yeah. she sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what about you? What's a what's a thing that's a hit or miss like on a date? Oh, uh, damn. Well, when it's like, you know, you know. Okay, so you know you want to sleep with a girl, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Oof, the right. it's it's the appearance of the girl that like gets a turn off where you know that she's like trying to provoke you to want to do that. stuff. For example, like I want to. Well, they try too hard. Yeah, it's like definitely trying too hard with their body to like really like say like yeah well, you're gonna get it after this. Mm-hmm. Like for example, like you're I went on this it. date, and her, this girl's uh, tits were like out. Like she looked, tits. she didn't look classy. You know what I mean? It was just, like, asked, too much. Where did you guys go? We went to this fancy. It wasn't a fancy restaurant. They're kind of like yeah, but there were a lot of. It was like a high. It, it was. Yeah, it was. Like, it was a nice place. Yeah, it was a nice. Just, place. Like, just yeah. like a goddamn adult. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a nice put place. on a shirt. Put on some pants. Well, like, and heels. Just come in here looking like a hoochie mama. Like, <laughs> want and Sorry, like, I heard that word in a long time. And then like it gets like kind of distracting because it's like, yeah, you know, I'm a guy. I'm gonna fucking look. But like, I'm like in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, like your tits are there. But, like, I want to try to like have a conversation with you, but like your tits are in front of my face, mm-hmm. and I like tits. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the title. Like tits. That is the title of this podcast. Oh my god. I like tits. <laughs> oh, if if anyone thinks that 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 our brains as men go anywhere past like oh man emotionally oh, sometimes god. with that sort of thing nope no we we can be extremely primitive. But it's like I I know better but like. No, but dude, anyway, like that's what I'm tits. saying. Like, any yeah. guy, if, if a girl's fucking like that, yeah, I'm just you're gonna look. Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 watch, you're watching a, a source fed video earlier called Santa Steve, and even the guy, the girl she was, uh, Santa was dating, she just wrote, she was running kind of revealing stuff, but in the heat of the moment of the bit, even he was thrown off. Yeah. He's fucking seen those things before, so yeah. it's normal. That's, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a normal reaction. So, and, yeah, more or less, it's the appearance. I mean, yeah, definitely, I like it, but like, there's a time and place for it, unless I like provoke it, then well, keep that shit concealed. Well, it's like, well, let's say it's the saying, you know, be be what is it like, be polite in the, be polite in the streets, but freaking the sheep sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like make it tasteful. Yeah. Well, and also yeah, tease I, it. Tease <laughs> it. Yeah. Tease a little bit. Um, I it's I, I just think it's natural for people when they're dating to like the chase a little bit. They like. Something about getting something too easy for some people, it, it just immediately is like I'm not, I'm not into it because I didn't even have to lift a finger. Yeah. And like, and, and I think that goes for men and women. Like they like, like that's why a girl's probably not down for you to like text him every fucking day or once in a while. Like that's why they say sometimes like wait three days. Like like be enticing in a way of like I've got my own shit going on. I don't need you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 
we, you know, we'll meet up when we both got the time and we got the energy, but I'm not trying to, like, put out my whole fucking thing for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's just, yeah, I feel like it's just natural for everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to bring up this photo because I was showing you guys the Modern Family Girl earlier. What's her, um, do you even her know her name? Winter, Winter, s- <laughs> <Stevens>? Winter <laughs> Summer. Sorry. I don't, winter yeah. Summer. No, her name that's is... That's like uh, Summer Sanders' parents hate her. Seriously though, uh, damn. I'm to, her her first name's Winter. She's Whoa. the girl on the, that has glasses on the show Modern Family. How old is that show? She uh, ten seasons. Wait, I like no, that yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. I know it's at least like seven or eight. Yeah, when I was like at ASU. Oh, season eight wraps up. Yeah. So, okay. What the? So yeah, they're like up. grown up. They're grown up. Now. I swear to God, I thought it was like season five. They're grown up. But yeah, I, I swear, I'm getting older. But if you look at her like now, she's like. As you know, as the show goes, she's like getting older. You can tell like she's gonna have big tits. Now she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, was Sorry. that too much? But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, it's my preface. What so you were gonna she, talk about? Like she's like, <laughs> she's like <laughs> <laughs> this subject is women that all of a sudden get hot out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, then, but then now yeah. she's like in public and she's like showing off her body and like with her cast members, she just looks, she looks like. Like why you don't need to dress like that too much? Like, calm down. Like I got you. We're on the radio cutaway. We're on yeah, the it's like hey, yeah, Ariel Winter. Yeah, we know we know you're gonna be hot, and we know that like you're Deal with it. promiscuous in a way. But like I'm promiscuous. she's in Hollywood, man. Like, what do you expect? No, it's like, Damn, you know, girl. She has to be like you're hot. Deal with it. Yeah. 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 Sorry, girl. But yeah. this well, is kind of what I was talking to before we started recording. I was like, they tried their damnedest to try to cover her up. It's good. Even when she was like a little younger, they kind of noticed. Yeah. Look at the picture on the left. You can see like it was protruding a little bit, and also on their <laughs> their walkway. Yeah, she's, she's, like, she's like trying too hard to say like, "Hey, I'm a woman now. Well, Respect I, I, my authority." Well, I, I well, I, I could, I truly believe that from just from these pictures, she's always been this way. Like she's, she's right, like. Look That's crazy, photo. dude. I, I have to be I have to be careful. We yeah, are live. Right. Yeah, we can't. Yeah. We can't. Yeah, we can't show too much of this. Can't stuff. Show too many. Um, Thank God she's of age. I'll but but it, younger. from what I'm getting, it seems like it seems like she was always like this. But it's just she keeps. It, it's just she got typecasted. She was in, you know she was in a role that was very famous of being nerdy. the nerdy yeah. like covered up conservative girl, and she's just not that. And and like I said before, I think I think being in Hollywood sort of. Attributes to that, like you, mm-hmm. they're they're gonna say, hey, show show some cleavage or two, just so we get some eyes on you. Like, yeah, let's see, dude. Like, <laughs> that's not that's not influenced by anyone yeah. but her. I straight up. I don't know if I. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I know we been doing a great what? job of showing what's on the screen, what's here for our first live podcast. What's on our coochie? Point, but we cannot <laughs> show this photo. No, oh, it's her a little risque. Yeah, that's her and her like. Is she saying Pablo, the carpet mats? Oh, oh no, that's, that's her, her boyfriend. No, that's a different guy. Holy. That's a different yeah. guy. Yeah, she's oh. grown, guys. She's sleeping around. Look, look at this comment. They, quote unquote, modern family need to recognize there's a whole season where the script dedicated this one girl exploding out of her weird goth shell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's just a kid. Why is she dressing like that? Where are her parents? Yeah. <laughs> that was from SHF45. What the fuck? Some, some fake account. Yeah. yeah. Just just account. One episode can be like, oh, she just turns into a slut. She can't though because the daughter is like the one that oh, dude, she's not anymore. The, the, older, the older daughter is the one that kind of like rebelled. Yeah, was dating the older yeah. daughter. Yeah, yeah. Who's trying? Try, that guy's trying to make a name for himself, but Hollywood's Hollywood, so it's just kind of difficult to break yeah. out of that typecasting. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the reason. That's the same reason I came with her name. Uh, not even any future stars as of now, but like a lot of people in the past that you've seen like Lizzie McGuire show, Ashley Tiz, that Miley Cyrus now you're talking about. Yeah, it's like Disney or wherever, ABC, who is a part of Disney, you sometimes cannot get out of that mold. Yeah. And And then all of a sudden like you want to be, what's the girl that played the Princess uh, Diaries? Anne Hathaway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen the movie Habit? No, I haven't. Yeah, she's fucking like fingering herself on the couch and shit. Oh yeah, oh, she shows her tits fuck? and shit. Yeah, and then like in one scene, like you have to roll I the not dice. Not like her tits. Because <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you, you're on a little, tits. You're on a tits run today. Little yeah. mini. We'll ask. We'll end the show on more of the best tits. Um, but yeah, there was a scene where to join a gang because they were like really cool with this like uh, Hispanic gangbanger. You have to roll a dice to see how many of uh, the guys you have to sleep with. What? She rolled the one. She got lucky. She ended up like sleeping with the guy, guy. That she, guy she likes. Oh, that's her cool. friend got like two. She got like she got threesome. She got she got she got spit roasted and she shit. got DP'd, as they say in the <laughs> in the business. So like they have to just drastically, drastically go away from what
I usually used to them seeing on the TV. I feel like that kind of sucks as opposed to anyone else that might have been on Nickelodeon or, you know, they get away with a lot of stuff. So it's yeah. not that hard for them. They just have to. Fucking Josh Peck was in Red Dawn. Like, what the hell is that shit? Or is Josh? Yeah. Weird. Can, can I say something about him? That. I, he just pisses me off. Really? Just for no reason. Oh, I, He's like, I got the same Craig thing. Like, I look at his face and I just want to fucking hit him. Even when he was yeah. fat? All the time. Really? And to to this day, from day one to now, I just I hate no his like face. Josh Peck. He just his face well, looks I like such a so it would be so simple, oh, but uh, I found a way. I love it. I found a way. I'm sure he's a great guy. His face just looks like the smarmiest motherfucker, and I want to hit him. I'm I like just that don't with, know why. I'm like that with Drake. Ah, oh, fuck you! Like, look at that. <laughs> look at that smug little piece of shit. Well, well, I'm like that with like an asshole. Me, look at him. Let me put it on the video cover. Drake oh. Bell. I'm like that with Drake Bell. Yeah, I, I hate like, Dra- I hate Drake yeah, more than I, I hate Josh. Him. He's just such a douche. I, I never cared for Drake, but yeah, I don't know, dude. God, Drake seemed like more of a dick really? than like Josh. Yes. I never I never watched the show the enough way, to like just the way he looks. Yeah, I'm just like, the way fuck he acted. Huh. And like you're picking on your fat brother who's trying his damnedest <laughs> yeah. to be like social. Yeah. yeah. He'd be here, I'd play music. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He was he was like sort of the popular guy like right on the show. But I never really like Watch the show. I don't know, man. Like, look at it. It's just like, ah, oh, really? Punch it. Yeah. I, he looks like a sad human being to oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> look, it's like, it's like, like this eye being sort of closed, and then that little, look at that little fucking just. Oh, I don't just know. Fucking hit it. Yeah, he's been the. It's well. like he's had a very like humble life, and he's done yeah, his best. That's oh, I man. Made most and, of that's it. and he is himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's. I just, it's just. I, I just find that funny how like. I don't that know. can like humans can sort of be like, oh man, I can look at somebody immediately and just not like them other for other than from the fact I just don't like their face. You don't pass your personal eyeball test. It, and I don't know, I don't know what my eyeball test is or something. Because like I said, that I don't know this guy ball. at all. I haven't watched a ton of Drake and Joss and all that stuff, and I just want to punch his face. And then uh, yet this, uh, you're fine with this. Just ew. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <ew. laughs> that's. I don't have as much of a strong as like a, as a hate to. Oh wait, wait, actually that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one sucks. Wait, go back down. Go back down. There's one more. What? That that one. That with the blue. No, no, no. No, the one with right the next. Corduroy. To that one. I don't want to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway, that got like, violent. What celebrity would you like to punch in the face? I don't think I have any celebrity. No. None. No. Zero. None of your youth that girls pined over. You're like. I could be like that if I want to. Oh, maybe Corey. Corey from Corey in the House? Yeah. Corey. Say a little louder. I want that on the record. Corey. I'm the man. What's wrong with Corey? I don't know. I I don't know. Let's see. Let's look at him. Just because I felt like, okay, do you guys remember that character from Raven's That's a Raven show? Yeah. Yeah. Her best friend? The white I just guy. feel like Corey's like a version of him and he's just like, it's oh, just terrible. That dude like went missing for multiple times yeah. in the past few years. What the really? Yeah. yeah. What the hell? Weird. <laughs> So you you want to punch? Uh, I can't remember his name. Let's see. That's a really uh, his name is so it's like Orlando Jones or something. Yeah. Orlando Brown. There you go. Be careful. He's a crazy motherfucker. He's just, yes. Uh, he just seems like an ass. <laughs> is, is it this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. And then you started rapping to him. Just like, damn, stop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you're not good. Stop it. <laughs> if, if I had to choose any celebrity, it'd probably be Ricky for My Love Lucy. I hate that motherfucker. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, he he was made me laugh. <laughs> his voice sucked, that's for sure. But you didn't like his face. I didn't like his face. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see fan. it. Let's see it. Cause I feel like I feel like for all these, there's like a certain face that they make, or like a certain look where you're just like, God, fuck that. <laughs> He's like, Lucy, you should come over. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm in an interracial relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What national? Was he like Cuban or Puerto Rican? I don't remember which one it was. Uh, I, I want to say it was one of those. Yeah, I think he's Cuban. He's Cuban. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Desi Arnaz was born in 1917. Died of lung cancer. Oh, oh that's sad. Big was, band, though. No, did he, oh, did he smoke? Did he smoke cigarettes? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it was, it was the 20s, most likely. He's in that big band life. Got those cancer sticks. Oh, man. Ricky Racado. Gracias. <laughs> Grassy ass. <laughs> uh, Seal Ball. She can. She's awesome. If, if 
I'm drunk, she can get it. But <laughs> dude, she's like back in the day. Oh yeah, she was. She's damn good looking. Like uh, like Sally Fields too. She was amazing. She was a, a gorgeous woman. Mm-hmm. Which was um, who else? Is Elizabeth Taylor is another one. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth Taylor, like old school Elizabeth Taylor, with like just because just the purple eyes, man. Like you pull up a picture of her, those eyes are straight up. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. like real quick. Like it's just like entrancing. It's crazy. We yeah. said we're gonna talk about tits, and here we are. Yeah. We're talking about the boobies. Dude, I'm I'm way more. I've said this before. If a girl doesn't have a face that attracts me, I'm immediately. I don't care what their body looks like. I just I can't get into it. I think that's normal. It looks like oh man, there's one that look, the one right to the left. That right, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Yeah, right. and then like you get banger and she's old enough to like raise you at this point now. Oh yeah, well, she, I think she's dead. <laughs> yeah, she's exactly dig her up. She's old enough to raise you. <laughs> just fuck. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I don't think I know my celebrity crushes. I I know I definitely the first one, but Olivia Wilde's another one of mine. Has always been. I think it's mine's been. Um, Charlie Theron for the longest time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, starting yeah. to switch to Zoe Saldana. Who's that? Zoe Saldana. Saldana. What? Are, let me see. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of this. Maybe I've seen her. What's his face with his wife? I just want to like. I just want to just 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 hold her hand. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy that does Rocky Raccoon. Just yeah, Bradley, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bradley Cooper's uh, wife. Yeah, I can't that's her. Remember. That's her husband. Yeah, that's her boo thing. Oh shit. That's her baby boo. Yeah. Once you go black, you will never go black. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the hell she is. It sounds like Brazil. Zoe something. Yeah, she's she's, she's gone. Gone. I I kind of don't remember what she is. I think she's, she's like this or something. Yeah. Would you fuck this? Would you? That's gotta be. Would you fuck this? Yep. Yeah. That's gotta be weird. Like oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Chris Pratt is not talking about your life. Not talking. You're just like an animated character. No, 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 not animated. No, he means like if she was a green. All right, hold on. Although, just finish your thought. No, that's not. You're. You're. No, I don't know if I would be able to. I could. I don't know if I can fuck an alien. I, she's honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Part of I think she's a bit intimidating with mm-hmm. the with the eye, like just just the way maybe her eyes are yeah. is very. She just seems right off the bat very angry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not even like Zoe Saldana. I'm talking about just Gamora in general. Oh, oh, yeah. just an alien. Yeah. Well, what if? Okay. Well, granted that the parts aren't that different from what a human's parts would be. I think. I think I would do it. Like I'm not sure I would fuck Avatar. I'd fuck. I I would fuck Gamora, but I don't think I'd fuck. I don't think I'd fuck Avatar. Oh, Straight blue. up, that thing is also like, like eight feet tall. Yeah. Like, <laughs> climb a mountain. Yeah. Fuck that. No. That's yeah. not. Would gonna... you? Would you fucking Avatar? No. Why? <laughs> why? Some bestiality shit. Only, only bestiality. if I can exclusively have sex near the penis tree or whatever that shit was. What is that? You just have to imagine. I do. I just. I, I'm Only if she makes the face that's on the left. I'm okay with my Mocha <laughs> Saldana. Your moment. Your your Uno Saldana. Yeah. Sal- Uno Saldana. Saldana. Well, believe it or not, it's been 45 minutes. Damn. You kidding? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Really fast. I don't know. Anyone else got anything? Last things they want to share? Um, I I, I don't know. I I mean. Anyone you want to look at? No. Nah, yeah, I. We got the tools for people to look with us. I'm just, I'm actually just excited for the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Oh, yeah? yeah. It's true. Coming out, it's been making a lot of money overseas, so. Oh, fucking lucky uh, bastards that got it first. I forget if it's coming out this Friday. Oh, it's, oh, is it coming out? Oh, yeah. I talked to my, I talked to the girl who cut my hair recently, and she was all stoked to Yeah, go. it comes out, it comes out a sequel to Juco. Hold on, hold on. I do have something to share before we go. Mm-hmm. I, I need, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I need you guys, I think I might have rejected a girl who cut my hair on accident. Uh oh. I might have. Hold on. I want to explain yeah. it. I might just be imagining it. So, well, she was cutting my hair and we started talking. And it was like a good conversation. I was just being friendly. But she obviously was like, like sort of nerdy. And I was just, I just wasn't into her. Just not attracted to her. Just not my type. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, and she, again, really nice. And she was talking, we were like talking like a bunch of nerd stuff and just about life. And like, and then we started talking about like going out on dates and like how just both of us have not really gone out and done that. Done, done that in a while. Uh, um, so, like, we're laughing the whole time, and, like, I don't know, like, she's keeping the conversation going, and then she, like, this is the first time I've ever been asked this going to a Supercuts ever, was somebody offering me their business card. You didn't take her business I card? I didn't take her business card. What? You didn't take her you business card? You gotta take the business card. I didn't take business card. You, oh, I told her no. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, no, I know your guys' number. She, she's <laughs> giving you her <laughs> number. Did I do it? Did I ever fucking, like, straight up reject her? Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man! She was, I could tell. She was sort of, like, like more 
aggressive dude when I was like paying and like, oh she no. Totally fucked that up, dude. What's her name? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, only name is this. Oh, oh this is like, I just got my haircut like a week ago. Go fucking back and ask No, her I'm not her. into her. I don't want to date her. Well, then there you go. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, yeah, I'm glad I rejected her, but I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I oh, rejected her. Yeah. I thought maybe I was just like, oh. No, but you you did reject her. You slammed that door hard. Yeah. Ooh, but then at the yeah. same time, if you weren't into it, that's fine. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. more on her. She she took the chance and it didn't work out. I, but I'm wondering if I made some. Oh shit! I'll just be nice. I wonder if I, I maybe I accidentally sent off a signal. No. I don't know, she, man. I think it was like bold of her even. Maybe. Yeah, that's not that's that not that a thing things. that really happens very much in our society of the girl asking. Yeah. That's the thing I find personally attractive. The girl's like, hey, let's hang out. Yeah. Let's do something. I'll say. Like, I'm into you. You're into me. Let's, let's I, do it. I was yeah. just not. I was a. Because that answer was like oblivious. That's why I literally asked you. I was like, I wasn't sure. I had yeah. no idea if she was actually like trying to get my number or something. So, yeah. well, now I feel like more of an asshole. Because I was like, oh, no, I know your number. Yeah, no, it's cool. I know where Supercuts is. <laughs> All right. Well. That's funny. <laughs> So Misconnection. <laughs> There's a place on Craigslist. Seriously, Apparently. Though, I've had that so many times where you're just like, oh, wait a minute. I think she was hitting on me. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, shit, damn it. Like, I should have done something. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like in the moment. That's how you know when you're getting older. Like, mm-hmm. as a man. Because, you know, I don't, I think that's what they say. But they say, like, like men get more attractive as they get older. And women kind of, like, get not as attractive. Oh, so, like, I, mean, I think it like, depends on both it comes, people. Yeah, yeah, but men are, I don't know. Because, like. Because women sometimes age like a fan of one. Yes, but men do more so than women, I feel like. Uh, but like it comes like you gotta work out. Things like become yeah. more natural for men and women have to try a little bit harder. Or women have to try a little bit harder. I think, I think it balances out. I, I think it's I think it's sort of way to change. I feel like men are only so attractive because I, I got advice, like when you get older, the only thing women are looking for is to be nice to them, don't cheat on them. Yeah. And then the most attractive thing I heard on a man is laughter lines. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, that's I have laughter lines. I've heard dimples. I remember la- they like laughter lines. Yeah, oh, show you're living. I'm in. <laughs> I got. I know I got those. I've bitches. never even heard of that before. Yeah. Lines. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. It was an yeah. interesting piece of advice I got. See, see the thing, the thing that's the trade off with laugh lines, at least sometimes. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I'm. I, I at least for 26, I sort of have a couple of wrinkles up here, and I'm wondering if I'm just like I just laugh like this, or or just I raise my eyebrows too much. <laughs> 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 So I, I, don't, I don't know how girls feel about, it. I mean, aged lines here and and early gray hairs, ladies. I'm single. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got Somehow. Mind. We're going to do this. We're going to do it appropriately. Let's get, your, let's get the camera. No. <laughs> really gray hairs. Let's zoom on I'm, in. I'm not, I'm, this, boom, boom, Twitch boom, is not boom, a dating boom. site. Oh. Step, step in front of that camera. Hey. Go ahead. Put out, put out the thing. Do you like. <laughs> your, your squat down a little bit. There you go. <laughs> so, ladies, I'm uh, I'm CJ for I'm a uh, role now streamer. My head's right. a classy gentleman. Uh, if you'd like to hit me up at uh, <laughs> you can do so. I'll make you laugh, girl. <laughs> this has been the Benefits <laughs> Podcast. Eloy, where can they find you? You can find me at Yole underscore Valentine on Twitter. Check it out. Colin, where can they find you? You can find me right here on twitch.tv slash bncj, bn underscore cj ferg, or on Twitter at the ferg91. And where can I find your ass? Oh. You can find me drinking tea at togolurker, twitch.tv. And you can find me on Twitter talking about why society is a fucking mess at (laughs) togolurk15. Dude, you've been playing a lot of Persona. This has been (laughs) the Bad Inputs Podcast. Enjoy the music. We're going to fade to black like a new show. Bye, everybody. Oh.